Hi, this is Bill Zajac from JustChemistry.org. In this video, we're going to talk about significant figures. Significant figures are one of those things that need to be automatic when you are doing science. It's very important to understand uh, the, what the rules are. There are some exceptions, but for the most part, the major rules rule most of the time. The best way to get started is just to start doing them and, and giving you my thought process as I do it. I'm going to give you the number 3.803. And what I see here is a decimal point. When I see a decimal point and I see integers, it tells me everything is significant. And so therefore, this has four significant figures and the numbers are 3, 8, 0, and 3. Let's try another one. 0, 0, 0 0.00551. I see a decimal point, but I only see three significant figures. What's going on here? Well, the rules say when you're approaching from the left, okay, and you pass a decimal point, the zeros that you see before the first integer, in this case is five, are not significant. So what do I have? I have three significant figures, these three. So I have three significant figures. And what are they? It's 5, 5, and 1. If this was 0 0.00550, I'd still have three significant figures because a decimal point, everything after the integer becomes 3, and this would become 5, 5, and 0. Let's try another number. Let's try 44.220. 44.220. What do I see here? I look, I see a decimal point. All right. I see four significant figures, but guess what? This one is also significant because there's a decimal point here. All right, so anything to the right of the decimal, all right, is going to be significant. So I have five significant figures here, and what are they? They're four, four, two, two, and that zero. Let's try this one. Thirty-four thousand two hundred. Well, this is kind of interesting because what uh, we got, it uh, looks like I see three significant figures. Ah, what about these zeros here? No decimal point. When approaching from the right, uh, these zeros, okay, without a decimal point are not significant. Okay, so this has only three significant figures. And what are they? It's three, four, and two. We could also uh, write this as scientific notation. It would be 3.42 times 10 raised the fourth power and this would tell me that it's three significant three figures this 10 raised to the fourth is not significant how about rounding well when we round we round the last significant figure all right um, and using the uh, sig using the digit after the last significant figure so what do we what do we mean by that let's round the number 1.125 all right this is four significant figures all right, um, but what if it was three? What if it was three significant figures? Well, then it would be just these three. So I would take this five, which is the fourth, and because anything five or greater to the nine, we raise up. So this would become 1.13, and that would be three significant figures, and it would be one, one, and three. Before I get to the calculator, let me go over a couple of rules, multiplication, division, and addition, and subtraction. Um, in multiplication and division, the answer cannot have more significant figures than the lowest significant figure number in the problem. And here's an example. What we have is 4.39, 1.50. Each one of these is three significant figures. It's divided by 56. It only has two. Our answer can only have two. And we can either write it as 0 0.12 or 1.2 times 10 to the minus 1. In addition, and in uh, and subtraction, what we have here is the answer cannot have more decimals than the lowest number of decimal number in the problem. Uh, what does that mean? Here's an example. Let's say we uh, are uh, adding 2.10 to 3.111. Now, uh, this has three decimals. This has two. Our answer can only have two. So what do we do? Because this is a one, anything from zero to four, we drop it. How about if that was a 5 through 9, or it, and this is the example here, 2.10 uh, plus 3.115. All right, we can now take that 5 and raise this 1 to 2, and our answer is still in three significant figures, or actually in two decimals, becomes 5.22.
Now let's get over to the calculator. Okay, here we have the TI-83 calculator. I said it was the same as the TI-84. What I meant is the functions are the same. The TI-84 is faster and has more memory, but uh, they're both great calculators. Uh, first thing I want to do is, uh, you see the little apps function? Well, first let's turn it on. And now we got it on, and there's a little button called apps. We press down on apps, and we get applications, and we go down to scientific tools and hit enter and then we hit enter again and now we're into something called a sig fig calculator and we hit enter again and we're in there so now let's take a look at this number right here 4.39 times 1.50 divided by 56 equals 0 0.12 or 1.2 times 10 to the minus 1 now we see that 4.39 is three significant figures three significant figures for 1.50 and only two for 56, so our answer has to come out in two. But let's see what the computer does. Uh, let's go 4.39 times 1.50 divided by 56 and hit enter. Notice how the, uh, the calculator uh, display shows the significant figures of each entry. 4.39 has three, 1.50 has three, 56 has two, and then it gives us our answer at first, the first answer it gives us is a standard calculator, you know, a million digit answer. And then, and then it gives you the two significant figure answer, 1.2 times 10 to the minus 1. Neat, huh? Now let's uh, erase that. Now let's play with the calculator a little bit. Let's, let's try addition. Let's add 3.125 and let's add that to 6 million. 6, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. There we go. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Any guesses? What will we get? We get 6 million 3.125. Will we get 6 million and 3? Or, bingo, we get 6 million. Hey, wait a minute. What just happened here? We just added 3.125 to 6 million. Well, if you if you look at the, the, uh, the display here, 6 million only has one significant figure. Remember, we were approaching from the right, no decimal points. The only thing significant here is 6. And adding 3.125 to 6 million doesn't change it. It's just, you know, strange. Well, let's do something interesting here. Let's clear this and do that same calculation. 3.125 and let's add it to 6 million. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. But now we're going to add a decimal point and two zeros. And let's see what happens. Look what happened. Our 6 million went from one significant figure to nine significant figures. And our 3.125 got rounded because it would have given us 10 significant figures if it kept the whole thing. Well, you can play with the calculator and you come up with all kinds of neat stuff. Every once in a while, um, you'll see a test on an exam. And, 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 a, and a sample exam test question might be something like this. Uh, they'll give you the number 3, 2, 5, 8, 9. That's just a, any old random number. And um, let's put a 6 after the front of that. That's, now we got that's a little bit bigger. It's a little more interesting. And, and, and the question on your test will be, uh, what's that number in two significant figures? Well, in order to do it with the calculator, all we have to do is multiply it times one, but that one wouldn't just work. It would have to be 1.0 because that's two significant figures, and one won't change our answer. So we multiply that times 1.0, okay? And if you notice, 1.0 is two significant figures, and we hit enter, uh, look what we get. Our answer is 330,000. All right. What if we took that same number, 325896, 325896, and, and they, the question was, give it to me in four significant figures. So let's multiply 1.000. Now 1.000 is four significant figures. And so let's hit enter. And guess what? Our answer now has four significant figures. And the answer is 325,900. Neat, huh? Well, like I say, if you play with this um, a few times, and you'll you'll deepen your understanding of significant figures. You get to be pretty quick at it. Uh, as I said before, there's a few exceptions to the rule, but don't worry about those. That that'll come later, and uh, and you'll catch on real fast. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and have luck with your chemistry and vegans rock.